Hi guys, it's Trufan from Mobile Clicking TV. We are here now live to check the outcome of the first uh, first stage here, the uh, ASUS Open Overclocking Cup 2013. Uh, what happens here is 13 teams are competing today in different stages. There's three stage, stage one, stage two, and stage three. Stage one is only 2D benchmark. Was only 2D benchmark. Was a few hours ago, like two hours ago. Uh, was only SuperPi and CPU-Z. SuperPi was uh, frequency limited, while CPU-Z was maximum frequency. Uh, each of the benchmark, uh, for each stage, you have to run at least one benchmark. Uh, it's uh, For this one, there's two benchmarks to run, and only one benchmark will count on the overall uh, point system you gain. So every s for every system, for every benchmark and uh, scores you submit, either in CPU-Z or SuperPi, you get a ranking and this ranking give you points. Uh, only one ranking, CPU-Z or SuperPi, give you the total points you have in the end that's gonna be had to stage 2 and stage 3. We come back, we, gotta, we can come back to that later if you want. Um, <coughs> so, here we are, after 3 hours of benching uh, on the CPU uh, and the memory, uh, all the guys managed to uh, at least post something except one team. And here is the result. So in both benchmark, as I said, you can submit something and then get it back. Uh, get back only the best scores, the best ranking we count uh, in the final. So according to the end of that first stage, uh, I'm not talking about what it is right now. I'm talking about what it is at the end of the first stage, like when the counter run out, or run over, run uh, run out. The the result where uh, Team Europe was first. Um, um, Team Kazakhstan was leading until then, and at the very, very, very end, um, Perika and uh, and uh, his teammate Extrematic, they post the, s the best super prize score, so they got 35 points for that. Uh, then Team Kazakhstan, that was in the lead pretty much all the round, uh, uh, got uh, got the second place, second best score in super prize. They didn't have uh, a, a good enough CPU Z score to uh, to gain point. But they still had uh, some decent amount of, of scores. If I find that back the information, uh, uh, not this one. They still had uh, 31 points for that. Uh, then followed by Team Friend that had the uh, third best score in Super Pi, they gained uh, 28 points. Then followed by Team Russia one with Smokes and 12, they got 25 points. What is interesting about that uh, that Team Russia is. They had 25 points in the ranking, either in Super Pi 32M and in CPU-Z at the same time. So basically, either if they, there was someone like posting the uh, a better CPU-Z than they have, actually they had the best one, the 6.6 gigahertz. If someone like kick out, kick them out of the first place, they still have 25 points from the Super Pi run. So that that um, point system that uh, is here today at the Asus uh, Asus Open Overclocking Cup uh, 2013 is. You have to be, um, you have to think about what you want to to promote and what kind of score you want to push. Uh, let's continue with that. Uh, they got 25 points for that. Mm. Then was Team Poland, Riba and Marta. They got 23 points uh, with the CPU Z max frequency. They had a super by 32M, but it was not uh, good enough uh, in the ranking to give them more than 20. Uh, they had only 16 points for the super super by 32M and 23 points from CPU-Z, so as only the best ranking count, they get 23 points. Uh, Team Ukraine got 22 points, uh, as you can see it, everything was really close in the, in the first round. Uh, they got 22 points from their Super Pi run. <coughs> actually, it's, it, actually it's Team Ukraine 1, yep, it's Team Ukraine 1. <laughs> they got so they got 22 points from their uh, super pi run because that was the the best one they had. Uh, the CPU Z frequency they had was only worth 11 points, so it was not that interesting to uh, to to get it uh, at the same uh, uh, in the end. Then that's followed by Team Italy, 21 points from their CPU Z uh, CPU Z score. Uh, Team Greece secu Team Greece two secured 20 points from super pi. Uh, as well as uh, the second team Greece, the team Greece won, that's won uh, 18 points from SuperPi. So as you can see, like team Greece was focusing on SuperPi, they didn't even try CPU-Z uh, uh, that, that much. Uh, in between the two Greece teams, there is Team Russia 2 with 19 points. 
And then we can have uh, Team Poland 2 that got 17 points from their CPU D uh, ranking, and Team Germany with Debauer and Terrorist got 5 points from their Super Power run. Actually, they got only 5 points, but uh, actually, it's not 5, it's 15 points. I made a mistake. Okay, it's 15 points. And they, this, that's the last result they had. That's the last in the ranking, but that you still get point for it because there's the ranking is made uh, in a way that everyone can get point, even if you are one of the um, one of the last one. Um, mm -mm, and one team didn't submit any uh, scores for that uh, 2D benchmark 2D phase. That's uh, Team Ukraine 2 that is actually in front of us. They didn't have the the time or or they had some uh, some trouble with the the main board. We saw them insulating again the main board uh, like. In the, in the middle of the of the first round, uh, one thing to note is is AV is alone to do that. His um, his teammate Mtech couldn't couldn't make it. So um, actually, that's that's also one of the reasons I think. Um, the two facts for the first stage were Team Greece to Fire Killer and uh, and uh, Phil burned the CPU three minutes after the start of the competition. So that like three minutes, like go put LN2 five gigahertz 1.5 volt and then boom, gone. But they do quite well on their second CPU. They just have no backup anymore. And Team Poland 2, uh, they are they were benching 2D benchmark, but they had the GPU pot mounted on the on the graphic cards. Um, we we have a few uh, uh, reason for that. Uh, mainly they either don't want to change that to switch to the 3D or they. L they don't have any backup anymore because they already have it or lose it. The story will tell. Anyway, uh, this is for the rune one. We hope the, you guys um, keep uh, keep watching the live streaming. We we really like to do that. Uh, don't let let us know and check the other video for in the in the live for the um, for the announcement in a few hours for stage two and stage three uh, for the three uh, for for the three side. In the meantime, keep pushing it.